Hey everybody, little uh, impromptu video here. Uh, this is Rachel from reachthestamper.com and I just got it. It never, ever, 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 ever comes this early, but I got my um, UPS delivery, so I thought I would open it and show you guys what I got. So, I can't do this without knocking over my teeth. Oh, isn't that just a beautiful color combination? Oh, so pretty. Okay, I'm going to move the box because it's a little big. That way I can show you what I got. So I got all of the new pads, the in colors, the new colors, I should say. I already have the in colors. I got all of the new colors. Very, very, very cool. Let me, uh, hold on one second, let me adjust this just a smidge. There we go. Sorry about that. Gosh, there's so many pretty color combinations. Just look at these. Like, this is the way it was on top. Just like that. But then one moved off. Cool. Super cool. These two together. These two together. These three together. Beautiful. Poppy Parade is back again. All I had was my uh, one little marker that was holding on from when it was an in color. So many, many years ago. <laughs> and then we have Mango Melody. Petal Pink. What else do we have? And Petal Pink and Powder Pink aren't really very similar. There's like a little hue change in there, but this is an in color. So just so you know, in case you're curious, Mary Merlot, Gorgeous Grape. And just to show you, that's Rich Razzleberry, which is more of a purpley. This is more of a wine. This is Perfect Plum. So this is going to be retiring. And Wisteria Wonder isn't really close to this. This is retiring as well. So they're definitely different purples. And then we have Balmy Blue. So just to give you a comparison, that's Soft Sky. This is Marina Mist. So they're definitely different colors. And I'll show you one more. This is Pool Party. So they're not, they're, they're complementary, but they're definitely not the same. Now Pool Party is staying, but Marina Mist and Soft Sky will both be retiring. Oh my gosh, I'm just realizing since I got all these pads in, I'm going to have to pull all my stamp colors out. And again, Mango Melody, just to show you. Here's Pumpkin Pie. And here is Calypso Coral. Kind of orangish, pinkish orangish. And then Tangerine Tango is retiring. So you can see it's like really like an orangey orange, which is good because we needed an orangey orange. So let me put these back. And then we have, what was the other one? Well, but Poppy Parade is kind of in a, a world of its own. You can see it's not really a, a red red. So this is real red. And it's definitely not like Eclipso Coral. It's really a unique color. And I really am glad that we have it. It's definitely going to be a wonderful addition. And then we have a whole bunch. And of course, here's Blackberry Bliss, which is back. And everybody's super excited. And Blackberry Bliss will probably be closest to Rich Razzleberry. But definitely much, much darker. And I will say, I like the layout of the new pads. You can definitely see a lot more of the swatch of color, which is really good. It's got a lot more color on it. And in, just in case you missed before, they do have the, the different languages. And then they also have the blank one. So you can put it on the inside. So you don't have to worry about trimming your old piece up. You can see this one's so old. It doesn't even have a little label in it. But let's see. Granny Apple Green. So here's Old Olive. And I'm going to kind of leave the greens out because we're also getting this soft sea foam. Oh, there's lots of greens down here, actually. Mint macaron. I think probably the most we got was green. Coastal Cabana. Holla. Shaded Spruce. Mossy Meadow. So Mossy Meadow is a little deeper than Always Artichoke. But everybody loves this color. This one I am super, super glad is coming back. So Always Artichoke is retiring. Mossy Meadow. Then we also have Garden Green, which is completely different from Shaded Spruce. This is much more of a, like an emeraldy pine color. And as you know, Emerald MV will be retiring. So this is an in color that didn't make the cut. So we also have, let's see the other one here, Mint Macaron and Soft Sea Foam, which this is a really pretty color. Really excited to use this one. And then Granny Apple Green. So we got a lot of different greens. And then here's your Old Olive kind of for comparison. And you still have uh, Wild Wasabi will be retiring. And I, I misspoke a while ago. I said Pear Pizzazz was going, but Pear Pizzazz is not. 
So you can see we definitely have a nice, you could do a definitely a really cool ombre card with this. So pear pizzazz is staying. I didn't, I did say that a while ago and that is definitely was wrong, but soft sea foam, granny apple green, mint macaron, old olive. We're going to be able to keep, we are losing wild wasabi. However, Let's see if I can slide these back so I don't lose anything yet. And then we have again, coastal cabana. And I'm like Barry Manilow at the coastal, coastal cabana. I'm so excited. Look. They do look a little different on there, don't they? This beautiful big green swatch. Blue green, whatever it is you want to call it. I'm just so happy this is back. So that, these are the new pads and you can see how they line up. They're definitely significantly smaller than if you see these. So they're smaller. They're definitely thinner. And these stack. So these, you can kind of stack them, but they don't really, sometimes they don't stay on top of each other. But if you have two of these, like these two are open, they have these little dots that will nest the little feet that nests into the little hole. So they'll sit, you can make a little stack, which is pretty cool if you want to be able to see what color combinations you want without having to line them up and they kind of don't stay as good. So that's cool. I do like the addition of that. That might not be very meaningful to some people, but I think it's pretty fun. And then we have a new gray granite. So that um, they are also retiring the archival gray and the archival black. Both of those are retiring. So let me get these out of the way so I don't make a big mess. Let's see if I can stick them back in here real quick. And Highland Heather, forgot about that. So we have Highland Heather and Gorgeous Grape. Very, very pretty. Completely different shades. Not sure if that's translating or not, but this is definitely more like a lilac, and this is more like a purpley grape. Like a real purple. I know for a while people really weren't too in love with some of the purples that we got, so very, very pleased about that. And then we also have, just in case you missed it, we do also have our in color. So we have Grapefruit Grove, Call Me Clover, Lovely Lipstick, Pineapple Punch, and my Blueberry Bushel, which I'm using for a class tomorrow, so that one's kind of on the side, but those are the in colors. And I got the markers. So excited. I got all the Stampin' Right markers. And these actually come with an insert if you have the Many Marvelous markers. So if you buy this as a pack, it was very nice that they did this. I think this is really wonderful um, customer service in, in kind of keeping with it. What this is is... It's an insert that you can put into your marker holder. So then you could put these in and you slide this. I believe it goes into your little marker holder. I don't know because I don't have it. And that way you have all your colors. So pretty cool. Pretty cool that they did that. And then these all come zipped up. And of course I got the ink refills right now. I just got the um, in color, so blueberry bushel, pineapple punch, call me clover, grapefruit grove, and lovely lipstick. I just got these for now. That way, I could do projects if I wanted to with them with the reinkers. I didn't get these reinkers just yet for all the new colors, but I'll work on that for the next order. And I did also order the in colors, which is super cool because I love to have the markers and the reinkers and the pads. And I also got some paper. And they also have a really cool combo pack for the, um, this was just an excuse for me to get another Coastal Cabana marker, to be honest with you. So I have a lovely lipstick and a Coastal Cabana. This is coming in a two pack. So that's a great way to get a couple markers if you wanted them. And then the other thing I got, the two big things I should say I got, I got this stamp set, which is big wishes. So basically the stuff you stamp, the colors are here and then the words will be um, white or whatever your background color is of your card. So I think these are pretty, pretty neat because kind of like that reverse. It's almost like a, like a debossed because the words will be the negative space. So I think that's really cool. I really liked this set when I saw it. And then I got Itty Bitty Greetings, which is a two-pack. And this is going to be re uh, replacing Teeny Tiny Wishes. But it has a lot of really cool extra ones, like Forever and Always, You're Engaged, Easter Blessings, Happy Hanukkah. I know we don't have a whole lot that stick around for that year-round, so that's awesome. With Gratitude, which is a really nice one. Happy Day, 
And then showered with love. That'd be really cool as well. Have a lucky day. I really like that. That's really fun. Hope you're feeling better. Best wishes from all of us. It's it's nice. Fabulous at any age. It's nice that they all have like different fonts and that there's just so many different ones. So I really love that. And then what I got, which I apparently missed the pre-order on the embossing pad. So I do have to get that. But I got the Springtime Impressions Thinlets die. And what these do is you can use these to either cut out, and there actually is one other thing that's it's going to be a little bit more detailed. You can use these either to cut out. So I kind of got the butterfly since the butterflies retired because I did see a really cool card, actually several of them, where the butterfly was holding the card closed. So I thought that would be really fun to do and a good replacement. Plus it's super detailed. But then this is also, you can you can cut this in out of your card on a corner, or you could use the embossing um, mat, and you could emboss this into your cardstock. So I actually have a different embossing mat. I bought this a while back, and I kind of was hoping that Stampin' Up! would come out with it, and they did. So what this is, and I'm fairly certain theirs will be the same, but it's an embossing mat. So it's like a rubber mat. So it's definitely, it is thicker than our silicone mat because you can sometimes use the silicone mat to make the impressions, but this is thicker. And then there's also another piece that comes with it. And this is embossing plate. So these do two different specific things, the embossing mat and the plate. So, so basically what you can do, and again, this isn't the Stampin' Up! version. I forgot to order it. So I had this, so I figured I would kind of share it with you guys. But you can make, um, you could cut out your butterfly or you can emboss your butterfly. Or you could deboss it, I should say. So there's lots of different stuff you can do. If you can see on that picture, so this is a die cut here. So you could traditionally just cut it out or you can make the debossed image into the cardstock. So look at this one here. They use these flowers and they deboss this foil. How cool is that? Isn't that neat? So I, have, I haven't I have been doing as much practicing as I hoped. So I want to do some more practicing to kind of figure this out with my sandwiches and whatnot and exactly what it is that I want to do to be able to share with you guys. So um, I still need to get the other one because I like to have it. That way I can explain it to you if you guys have any questions. But anyway, so I will order that. The next order and then the other thing I wanted to share that was really cool was the simply chamois so when you get this it does look like it's a little wet in there if you can see so what you do is you pull it open and some of you may have um, something similar from lawn fawn lawn fawns is definitely this is my lawn fawn one someone gave me this it's it's very much thinner but it works on the same principle this one is actually sized though that it will fit into a um, clear mount container. So if you wanted to keep it, that way you could have it in your container. What you would do is you're gonna just re wet it, squeeze out the excess, sit it in your container, and then all you would have to do is, if you wanted to do it that way, is you could put this in your container and then you could just open it up and clean your stamps off with it and keep this in there, that way it would keep. So we do still sell the clear container, so you could get that, you don't need it, but basically this cleans off your stamps. Now I will tell you, as you saw the other one that I have, it, it will permanently stain this will never come out. However, it doesn't affect how it cleans. So all you do is you just wet it, wring it out so it's not excessively slop, uh, sappy, soapy, sloppy. I don't know what word I'm looking for here. Soppy. Sop up. That's what I was trying to say. <laughs> so you want to squeeze out the water so it's wet. Moist, but not wet. And then it will clean off your stamps. It's very, very easy. So this is kind of comes slightly damp, but you know, with a factory packaging. And then if it does get stinky, you could just wash it with some mild soap, just squeeze it out, and then you can use it. You don't have to wait for it to dry because you do want to use it when it's wet. But anyway, theirs is definitely a lot thicker. So I'm looking forward to uh, testing this and seeing how it works. But this is called the Simply Chamois. And again, this will be available um, June 1st. Yeah, the Simply Chamois. So it's really, it's pretty neat. And... It says dampen before use, air dry in between uses, and it is washable. Like I said, I'd just use like a mild soap if you're going to do it. But I have had, um, I had a few people ask, I have never had this get stinky. It doesn't really smell at all because pretty much since it's thin, it does dry out pretty quickly. The same thing with this. As long as you rinse it and you don't keep it like soaking wet in this container, then it won't get funky. Because I've, I've had that one for a while and it's not gotten funky on me yet. But anyway, another thing I grabbed were... Just some packs of paper, the new color, 
assortment of cardstock. I got another pack of the in color. Oh, I got a catalog. I got an extra catalog. I'm so excited about that. And then there's the returning color assortment. So they, they kind of separated these. So in case you were to have signed up as a demo when you get these and you'll be like, why is it two different packs? They just put the new colors in one and then the returning colors in a different. So these are all the, the colors that are coming back. So Blackberry Bliss, Coastal Cabana is probably in there, Mint Macaron, and whatever this pink is, which I can't recall. I don't know, whatever it is. And then these are all the new, like the brand new colors. So that's it. That is all I got thus far. So I can't wait to be able to uh, create some fun stuff with this and share it with you guys. And um, be sure to leave a comment on this. If you're on Facebook, I can't do it on YouTube. I will be posted to both. So if you're watching this on YouTube, hop on over to Rach the Stamper on Facebook and make sure you leave a comment. Any comment doesn't make a difference. Hi, how are you? Love the stuff. Thanks for sharing, whatever it may be. And I will enter you to win this pack. So, Coastal Cabana and Lovely Lipstick marker pack. Brand new. So, I'm going to um, post this video and I'm going to post it to both. But, like I said, I can only draw a winner off of Facebook. So, if you're watching this on YouTube, hop over to Rage the Stamper on Facebook. And I will um, draw for this. Try to do it. I'll give you until Saturday. So, I will do it Saturday, probably late afternoon. So, you'll have like two and a half whole days to leave a comment. But again, just make sure I can only draw off of Facebook. So make sure if you're watching this on YouTube, you hop over to Facebook at Rach the Stamper. Give me a like while you're there. I appreciate all the hearts and likes and shares. Thank you guys so much. And I will see you soon.